Hold on, me. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cam Cam. Hello and welcome to ChemCam. Today we'll be talking about the extraction of titanium. Titanium is the ninth most abundant element on the earth. It is useful because it has multiple properties including excellent corrosion resistance, high strength, relatively high temperature resistance, low density, low electrical and thermal conductivity and therefore its uses include aircraft fuselage, armour plating, spacecraft, naval vessels, missiles, landing gear, propellers, tent stakes, jewellery, surgical and dental tools. Now titanium is very expensive because extraction can take up to six months but at the same time Titanium is one of the most used metals, with a 2011 forecast of 223,000 tonnes. Titanium can be extracted from its natural ore of ilmenite, which is formula FeTiO3. It can be extracted via the Kroll process, which involves these following points. Firstly, you have to extract the rutile, which is TiO2, from the natural ilmenite. This is done by turning the ore into a gas, which is done by heating it up to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit and then adding chlorine. This then forms titanium tetrachloride. As the titanium tetrachloride cools, it turns into a liquid, to which they add magnesium and heat it to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit for four days. The magnesium then reacts with the chlorine and this separates the magnesium and the chlorine from the titanium. This liquid is then put into another furnace where a vacuum draws off the magnesium chloride. Pure titanium is then left behind as a sponge due to all of the holes of air in it. The sponge is then broken up into lots of different pieces and put under 700 tonnes of pressure, which causes it to make a half cylindrical shape. Two of these are then welded together to make a cylinder and put into another vacuum where it is melted down again and turned into an ingot. The ingots are then melted down in a furnace at 2134 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature at which titanium becomes malleable but it doesn't melt. Then they are put into a giant press which slowly turns it into a titanium rod which can be then turned into whatever shape is needed as demonstrated here with the sheet of titanium. So let's go over this once again. The ilmenite, which is the ore, is slowly turned into a gas and then has chlorine added which forms titanium tetrachloride. This is then turned into a liquid as it cools. They have magnesium. Magnesium reacts with the chlorine and separates it from the titanium. Put into another furnace where a vacuum draws off the magnesium chloride. Pure titanium is then left as a sponge. The sponge is then broken up and put under 700 tonnes of pressure which causes it to make a half cylindrical shape. Two of these are then welded together and put into another vacuum where it is melted down again and turned into an ingot. The ingots are then melted down where it becomes malleable then they are finally put into a giant press which slowly turns into a titanium rod which can then be turned into whatever shape is necessary. Thank you for watching this episode of ChemCam. If you have any questions, please email juk100 at habsboys.org.uk. Thank you. Hold on, Lee. <laughs> <laughs>
It's Cam Cam.